everyone, it's Dee, and I'm here doing another review today. Um, we're going to be doing Pearl Necklace by Funky Vapes. Um, and I'm going to also be reviewing one of my favorite ways to vape it, which is the Drunker Tank by Smoke Tech. Um, so I'll start off with the juice. Uh, I am going to be reviewing it out of an Igo L on my GGTS clone, and of course with the bunny head, because everything tastes better out of a bunny head. Um, this is a uh, juice that Funky Vape started selling through the Whacked Out eSig forum um, probably about a month ago or so. Um, although I believe he's been working on this for a very long time. Um, I ordered this to try it out. I mean, everybody was all very excited for him. Uh, I think we all wanted to support him. And uh, it was one of the last people to get mine. So I started seeing all the posts on the forums about how everybody loved this juice. And, and uh, I have to say, they were all very right. Um, but to make this a true review, got to vape it on cam. So here we go. So the juice I ordered from him is 12 milligram. Um, to me, it's a very smooth vape. Uh, I know I don't talk about throat hit much, but it, it I don't find it irritates my throat at all. You know, I, I can vape it all day without without needing to switch off or or drink water after every sip instead of every other sip. Um, the flavor on this is it's a little hard to narrow down, but it's amazing. Now, one of the major notes that comes through is, of course, the banana. Uh, it's a very real banana. You know, normally I'm not a fan of banana flavors because, to me, banana flavors in anything other than an actual banana taste very artificial, and I don't like it. Um, this one tastes very good to me. Um, there's definitely some coconut in there. There's a few hints of other things. Um, I'm getting also something a bit sweeter. I've never quite been able to narrow down what that is. Um, but it's just, it's such a satisfying juice. It's not too sweet. Um, definitely something that can be vaped all day. Um, I do find, depending on what you vape it in, the flavor does change a little bit. Um, I prefer it out of something that uses silica, so a dripper like the Igo L um, or like I said, my favorite, the Drunker Tank. Um, but it's still very good when baked with mesh. Um, on an Aga tea with a mesh wick, I find I get much more of the banana, not so much of the coconut. Um, but all around, just a really great juice. And if you haven't tried it yet, um, I'll be posting the link in the description to this video to the thread on Whacked Out, where you can fill out the order form. Um, I think we've got another Mad Murdoch on our hands here. Hopefully he won't forget all us little people in Canada and we get first dibs at the juice when he gets so famous that he can't keep up with the orders. But uh, yeah, congratulations, Funky. You hit it out of the park with this one. Um, I know you've teased us with hints that you may be getting some other juice flavors, and I really hope those come out soon. I cannot wait to try them. So we're going to move on to the second part of this review, and that is the Drunker Tank by Smoke Tech. Um, this is a rebuildable silica device. It is unfortunately a plastic tank, which is the only thing I really don't like about it. I would prefer if instead of the threaded screw-on, it was O-rings and a glass tank. Um, but other than that, it's a device that I'm very, very happy with. Um, I've tried it a few different ways when rebuilding it. Um, I've used silica 
I've used one millimeter silica, I've used one and a half and two millimeter. Um, I've also used cotton. I actually have it on this on my Vamo with uh, Juggies Chai Latte with a cotton wick in it. Um, I do find I like the flavor a bit better with the cotton. Um, and of course it also wicks faster. But cotton, you do have to watch that you don't accidentally let your tank get dry because burnt hits on the you're not recovering from. Um, and I do find that cotton also takes about a tank to really break in and start tasting right. So I'm going to take a vape off of my silica bill. This is what made with one and a half millimeter. So as you can see, I get pretty equal. This is the same, the same juice that I just reviewed, the pearl necklace. Um, so I get about the same vapor as I do with the IOL. So really good vapor production for, you know, for what you would expect from something that you know, is, is a silica rebuildable tank. Um, I really like the flavor on it. It doesn't have an air hole in the cap. It comes up through the post like a Clearo would. Um, but the coil, because you're the one wrapping it, I know my camera's not the best, but the coil is still exposed under the cap. For, for those of you that like an airier draw, um, you would want to be very careful because the cap doesn't feel like actual aluminum. I think it is plastic as well, but you should be able to drill it out if you wanted a bit more of an air draw on there. Um, I do find it perfectly fine for my vaping needs. Uh, I did consider showing you how to rebuild it, but my camera is not the best and it's a fairly easy build. There's other videos on YouTube that do show you that. So I decided to pass on that for now. But I just really love this little tank. Um, I'm getting good flavor out of it, you know, whether I do it with the silica or the cotton. Um, good vapor. You know, for using on my devices like the Vamo, I can wrap it with a bit of a higher resistance coil because I can use the controls of the Vamo to control my wattage. It saves on battery life a little bit. And for my mechanicals, wrap it with a little bit of a lower resistance coil to get that same vapor out of it. So it gives you the flexibility of a Jenny or a rebuildable. Um, not as leaky, although it will still we like we leak out of the wick holes if you leave it on its side. Um, but just all in all, a really great little device. If you're just wanting to get your toes wet with rebuildables, um, or you're not wanting to mess around with having to torch your, your stainless steel mesh, and you just want to try something out that's pretty easy, this is a great way to go. Um, Vapor Geek in Canada does sell these, sell these devices. Um, she doesn't have the pre-wrapped coils for it, although those you can get elsewhere. Um, I have seen them for sale on some U.S. vendor sites, but really, it's a very easy build. Um, it doesn't really require any special tools at all. So all in all, I would say that I give this one not perfect marks. Like I said, I don't like the fact that I can't leave it on its side. Um, I do like to just throw my PVs in my purse when I leave the house. so. I like to have something that's a bit more sealed. I don't want it leaking all over the inside of my purse. Um, I would prefer, you know, a tank with O-rings so that you could have a glass tank. Uh, but for the cost of it, you're going to be able to to get multiple uses out of it. Um, you know, easy to clean, easy to re-wick. You know, it's a great little device, and I would highly recommend it to anybody. So that's my review of Pearl Necklace and the Drunker Tank. Um, they go great together. So just to recap, Pearl Necklace, one of my favorite juices. Um, little sweet juice, but not too sweet, uh, although you can purchase an unsweetened version from them. That one I've not tried. Um, just a great vape. You know, it's, it's something that if you haven't tried it yet, get on Whacked Out fill out the form and order some. You really need to try this juice. 
Um, Drunker Tank uh, is something that I would recommend to pretty much anybody. You know, very easy rebuildable. Um, gives you the control of being able to rewick your own. Um, but a much better vapor production and flavor, in my opinion, than you do get with a Clearo. And still being that silica, you still got a little bit of a different taste with silica than you do through through a mesh coil. Um, for some vapes, like a dessert vape, in my opinion, it is better. So thank you very much for watching and vape happy until next time. Thank you.